if you are debt free, that is one of the best ways to hedge the stock market. Right. Having no debt is 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 the best feeling in the world. And that's the best time to or that's the best way to hedge when it comes to either a recession or when we have high inflation or when, or, if, or if not, when we have high um, unemployment rates. A couple of companies that I, I do want to put here in focus. The first one, of course, is Amazon. We have we have the 21, 20 to one stock split. Um, this is a phenomenal opportunity. This is I mean, this brings a phenomenal opportunity for those that were crying about how high the prices were, you cannot be talking that the prices are expensive now, right? And, and, and this is where I constantly see, I constantly see this in our community. I constantly see that when the stocks are at an at a, at a all-time high, we complain that it is at an all-time high and we don't have the perfect entry, right? Then when that stock comes down 50%, 38%, we're, we're very quiet and we don't really execute. That's what I see in our, in our, in our community. Amazon does a stock split, 20 to one. Drop a one if you bought shares today of Amazon. Okay, got 30. Okay, excellent, excellent. Been buying, excellent. I love it, I love it. We, we need that. And again, it's just that mindset shift that we need when it comes to our community. 20 to one stock split on the largest e-commerce platform in the world. You should definitely be buying, all right? And if you want me to give me some entries, I could definitely do that later and I'll show you how to actually do it yourself. Um, so that you don't have to rely on me or anyone else to, you know, to do it for you. Right. So Amazon's 21 stock split, definitely a really big opportunity. Load the boat. Uh, I was actually talking to Martin right before this call. And I was like, listen, we need to go heavy on this because this is this is generational wealth right here. And it starts here. Right. So we would definitely do that as well. Uh, but Amazon, I mean, we all shop from Amazon, the largest e-commerce platform. It makes a ridiculous amount of money. It definitely has a competitive advantage compared to Shopify. I mean, you you cannot compare Shopify to Amazon. The, 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 there's just no way, right? So definitely, Amazon is a is a is a automatic buy uh, when it comes to long term wealth. On top of that, another one that I definitely wanted to talk about today, and it's and it's one that was brought up. I forgot the gentleman's name, but if you if you're part of the call, please just raise your hand. And he talked about um, solar energy, right? And how oftentimes. If you want to diversify your your stock portfolio, you know, oftentimes people look at tech, people look at consumer and these different sectors to invest in long term. You can also look at solar. So a big um, news that came out today was that U.S. and Joe Biden announces this morning he plans to pause new tariffs on solar inputs for two years. This is huge. Right. So the companies that I want you to take into account and, and I want you to do some research on again. And what I mean by research is. Who's the CEO? What's their vision? Uh, what's the competitive advantage? What's their line of product or, or services? That's the type of research that I want you to do because at the end of the day, Sunrun, SunPower, and Enface, I mean, these are really good companies. And we talked about this last time when the gentleman came off mute and he, and he definitely talked about it, right? So let's take a look at Sunrun. So, so the ticker for Sunrun is just run. And as you can see, although... Although we are in a bear market, this is one that has been trying to revert back to the mean, right? Is at 28.83. And this is a stock that we used to trade all the time last summer. Um, and overnight, and let me go ahead and take the fibs off. It went up or you know, a, a drastic amount just because of, of the of the news that came out today. On top of that, we have Enphase. So Enphase is another great stock. Uh, out of out of all three, the ones that I that I recommend or that I would prefer to put in my portfolio, we'll probably put, I will, I will put Enphase and I will also put Sunrun as well when it comes to my portfolio. If we look at the daily outlook for it, again, it's trying to revert back to the mean. And right now it's, it's, it's starting to approach a critical pivot level here of 220. And again, there's no secret strategy. All I did was just get my, my, my horizontal ray. And I, I look at the next rejection that we have here, which is 220. Right now, the level is 208. Hence that we have to break 220 to be able to get into the higher prices here that we have when it comes to Enphase. This right now, this right here is a really good stock. And this is a stock that I that I, I, I mentioned that I would not be surprised if it hits 500 in the next few years, right? Or, or, or even in the next year, just because of the competitive adventures that they have. And of course, this 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 line of, uh, of companies will stun run Enphase. They, they're sort of like a monopoly, right? Because no other companies are actually doing 
what they're doing. So if they if they do get that executive order from Joe Biden, I promise you the stock will will go crazy. It will definitely skyrocket and 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 it will definitely blow through this 220. So what I will say is this: keep and face uh, on your watch list and look at the news. Because th there will be news coming out when it comes to the executive order for end phase in, in the next couple of days. Um, let's see. We, we also have another thing that I do want to talk about. Um, yeah, TAN is also good. And, and I'll, I'll cover TAN in just, in just a second. Uh, cybersecurity will continue to be prevalent. I say this because I am at RSA, which is a conference here in California. So I'm in the, in, in the Bay Area this week. The time zone is honestly killing me. But um, I wanted to say this, just going to the conference yesterday, it made me understand the amount of money that's being invested into cybersecurity. I'm talking about even small businesses are out here looking for guidance to the point that companies like CrowdStrike, which CrowdStrike this year, their marketing is elite, like their marketing is immaculate to the point that they're that they're renting out local shops and they're transforming them into like little CrowdStrike stores and just giving out free advice when it comes to cybersecurity and letting people get a feel of their company. CrowdStrike and Pan W, and of course Zscaler are my top two when it comes to cybersecurity stocks. I would highly recommend you that as we continue to evolve in this digital world and as we continue to adopt digital transformation, again, we have to secure our assets, right? The more that we innovate and, and the more technology that, that we put out there, the more resources and tools that we actually have to implement to be able to what? To be able to protect that technology. That is the reason why CrowdStrike and Pan W and CIBR is a really good route too. You could definitely do that. Um, you could, de I'm telling you, you could definitely make money on CrowdStrike and I'm gonna show you how. So a couple of different things when it comes to CrowdStrike. Uh, let's see. So CrowdStrike, 52 week high is 298, you're right? T taking in the number two, 298, and we talked about this right here. We talked about the consolidation zones. And again, if you don't know how to trade a consolidation zone, I'm gonna show you how right now. Consolidation is prime opportunity, right? People would say you should never trade in a consolidation. Yes, of course, you should never trade in a consolidation, but you should always keep into, a, in, into account a consolidation zone. Right, a few weeks ago, we were consolidating between, and again, I still have my my all of my lines here. I always keep it here to document it. One thirty six point forty two, and then we have one fifty six point eighty four as the high. Right, at the end of the day, what do we have here? We have a consolidation zone. So what do we do? We wait for that breakout. So as soon as it broke one fifty seven, you you should have gotten in, either for a swing trade, either for a day trade, and right, and 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 even last week it hit a high of one seventy six. You would have been in in the money when it comes to your profits. So right now, CrowdStrike is indeed at a discount. And right now I'm definitely loading the boat when it comes to CrowdStrike, right? Because, because CrowdStrike, it will definitely get, get back to the high of 300 in, in the next year, 100%, especially with cybersecurity becoming more, uh, more prevalent. On top of that, CrowdStrike works directly with the, with the Department of Defense. And they also work directly with Joe Biden, like, the, like Microsoft, CrowdStrike, Palo Alto, they're meeting with the president of the US to have talks when it comes to cybersecurity. So for those that do not know what a, what a executive order is, an executive order is where Joe Biden and, and his counterparts, they come together and they basically write this long document, right? That long document, they give it to a, a company like, 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 like CrowdStrike or, or Palo Alto, and they'll basically assign them a task when it comes to how to secure their assets. And that's exactly what CrowdStrike, Microsoft, Palo Alto, all these different cybersecurity companies are actually getting. So, so this one right here is definitely prime opportunity. Palo Alto, just, just to give you an a, a, a outlook when it comes to their chart, their 52-week high is 640. They're right now at 512. Um, this is a stock that right now is, is trying to rise. And, and, and of course, we have here a really good bullish trend line that as long as we hold that, we should definitely get up to the back up to the 538s. On top of that, we have here a critical resistance level at that 538.85. We have to be able to break that in order to get into the next levels of 557. Of course, get, get, uh, get back to the 573. And of course, get back here to the 598. This is the level that I'm looking at right now. Highly recommend this for a buy when it comes to buying stocks. And again, you know, putting it as, as part of your long-term hold. Because uh, these stocks, when it comes to like powerhouses in, in the cybersecurity industry, uh, CrowdStrike and Palo Alto, there are definitely some of them.